the anatomy of an opt-in is going to be a companion to our other video, the top 10 tips for shining on video. Break it down into um, the break down the opt-in video into several different points. There's there's the opening line. This go this is working your way up from the top. Can you see the graphic? Okay. You have an opening line. You have bullet points one two three four five, and then you have segues one two three four, and then a major segue, and then you have your call to action, and then you sending people over to opt in to get their bonuses. And then this is depicting you're engaging here and you're escalating with intimacy and emotion. So as you're rising up, this, up these, these bullet points, you're getting more and more engaged and you're hooking your viewer in so that when you finally get them to the crescendo, you simply slide them over to your opt-in box and have them put in their name. Now, I, I was watching some videos on this guy named Jason Silva and he does these things called philosophical shots of express you, expresso, express yourself. And um, you can see him on video. Don't go there now. Watch the end of this video. You can see him on, uh, on Vimeo and he does these two minute videos and they're very cool. They're, they're loaded with very beautiful visuals, but they're very short, like two minutes. And he always has this build of emotion. Like he comes on camera and it's like this and like this and like this and like this and like this. He gets to the end and he's like, and I just can't believe how cool it is. Oh, it's like a climax. And like that kind of a climax. It really is. He, he's like this, there's this emotional build. So watch Jason Silva and you'll see an example of connecting and building emotion. Watch a video twice because the graphics on these videos will kind of blow you away. It's very, they're very well done. And so you won't notice the emotion so much because you're taken away by all the graphics. So the second time you watch one of these two minute videos, notice the building of emotion and how it takes you up to this crescendo where he just, but he doesn't, he doesn't use it as an opt-in. He just uses it as like, wow, wasn't that great? But he could be going, wow, wasn't that great? Now buy my shit. But he doesn't do that. So I don't know, Jason, if you're listening, you know, take a hint. Anyway, <laughs> we're having fun now. So I have uh, my cue cards. We're having our, I have my cue cards here. We've got our opening line. We got our title is uh, the anatomy of an opt-in. And we talked about the companion. We talked about the graphic sheet. So we're, um, I want to talk a little bit about what is an opt-in and what is a CTA or call to action and what's the distinction between the two. Now, CTA is call to action. That is, this is what I want you to do. Now just do it. Now it could be typically for internet marketing, it's going to be go over here and put your name and address, your name and email, and we'll see you on the videos or you'll get your free gift. That's an opt-in. You're opting into someone's list. But a call to action could be get on the phone and call me for an appointment or call my secretary or go to my appointment, set, click on my appointment software down here and make an appointment. So the distinction between an opt-in is a form of a call to action. And I want you to be thinking about your business right now. Do you really need, you, I'm submitting that you need a call to action, but do you really need an opt-in? Because sometimes it's more critical just to get them on the phone or get them to call you. So you might want to consider having your call to action be call me right now, here's my cell phone, or call my secretary for an appointment. Because sometimes an opt-in box is actually a hurdle depending on the type of business and the size and scale of your business. An opt-in box can be a hurdle between you and your clients. So this reminds me of a story that I have about, I used to be a dentist, I still am a dentist, but I practiced in Northern California. And I had a buddy in, in the San Francisco who was an optometrist and he had the largest outlet for contact lenses in all of Northern California. And that's saying something. He saw, he sold a lot of contact lenses. He did advertising and he had people calling in from the ads. He didn't let a receptionist or an assistant touch the phone lines. Either the doctor or his MBA marketing guy picked up every single incoming marketing call. So that's a that's just an example. That's just making a point that 
sometimes that opt-in can be a hurdle instead of a instead of you know helping you out but if you have a strictly online business and it's all automated automated then opt-in is the way to go but consider what your call to action is and whether or not it is an opt-in connect and inspire the anatomy of an opt-in that's our title connect and inspire they say that sales is the transference of inspiration so an opt-in video uh, I'm using the term opt-in in synonymous with synonymous with um, call to action so from here on out when I say opt-in I'm saying call to action or or, or opt-in means call to action or opt-in so so sales is the transference of inspiration so the I the whole idea behind an opt-in video is to inspire them to take your action so you have a challenge to connect and to get them to take action you don't have you don't want to make it too long and you want to make it you want to make it you want to to to, to grab them from the opening line and just like Jason Silva you grab them by connecting with them online and then you build the emotion and build the energy until you get them to the point where you reach bullet point number five which is talking about the transformation that they're going to re that they're looking for where you are sharing the transformation that they're going to receive out of interacting with you and then when you get them to that point it's like so that's the you you I'm going to give you exactly what you need now what you need to do is just go over here and opt right in so it's like boom 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 that's what you what you're looking for is right there so go get it does that make sense? I hope so. Connect, build that, build that connection, and then just sort of, you grab them by the collar, and then you just take them over here. You, just like this graphic, escalating intensity and emotion. You, you grab them and bring them in, and then just take them over here gently and drop them off. John Carlton was a copywriter, and his, his simple formula for copy, writing copy, and it makes sense for this opt-in video, is... This is what I got, and this is what it'll do for you, and this is what I want, want to do now. So this is what I got, and this is what it'll do for you, are those four bullet points. And then the fifth bullet point is, this is what I want you to do now, opt in or call me or whatever. So this is what I got, this is what it'll do for you, and this is what I want you to do now. Very simple formula. This is very complicated with all this, this, this stuff on here, but it really boils down to this is what I got, this is what it'll do for you, and this is what I want you to do now. It's very, very simple, and it's an art form. Another guy, SEO guy that I, that I dealt with a little bit, he talked about what's the purpose of your homepage the first time somebody views it, is who am I, from the point of view of the business owner, who am I, what do I do, what do I do, and how can you get a hold of me? Or who am I, what makes me special, what do I do, what, what's in it for the viewer, and how do I get a hold of you? How do I opt in or how do I contact you? How do I avail myself of your services? So this is complicated, but it's really not. It, it looks complicated, but it's just that simple. Oh, and you don't have to be Tony Robbins. You don't have to be like, yes, go for it. Walk through those coals. It can be like you're just having a cup of coffee, talking to somebody over 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 a bagel and coffee so you can just connect with the lens connect with your people connect with the camera and just be very casual you don't have to, you can being yourself is more important than than being trying to be anybody but you i'm mark mcmahon thank you for watching be sure and check out our companion videos the top 10 tips for shining and i wish you many moments of shining on video